plants. All right, doing this. Don't get mad. Oh, don't get mad, Lauren, it's okay. Half cup of pepitas? Half cup of pepitas. I even looked it up. Cot, cot, it's like cottage cheese. Katija cheese. Real quick. You guys are great. You're doing awesome. Hey pals, I'm Bjorn, and this is the Cub Kitchen. Cub Kitchen is a show where I do crazy easy recipes in my underwear. We're on season two of the Super Summer Salad. Today, we're doing Chipotle Sweet Potato Noodle Salad. Got it, nailed it, right there. First off, I gotta thank my sponsors. Yeah, I said sponsors, because I have two sponsors. First sponsor, Bearskin Underwear. Once again, for providing wardrobe, these awesome boxer briefs, available now, bearskin.com. Go check them out, pick up a pair. There's tons available. We've got these new stripes. These are the, the tangerine stripes. Yeah, tangerine, because we're doing sweet potato noodles. So I thought, you know, they go together. They're like stripe, it's like a stripey salad, so it's a stripey thing. Cool. And now I have to talk about our new sponsor. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, I've been growing my beard out and growing out my mustache. And I've had this issue where I'm like eating my mustache all day, all the time. So I need to like have something to push it out of the way and hold it all day so I can eat and do other cool stuff and just like look cool. Yeah. <laughs> so the new sponsor, is Rides Mustache Wax. This is the product right here. It comes in a little tin. It's made of locally sourced beeswax in Portland, Oregon with coconut oil and essential oils. It is available on Etsy. Tame that stash, rides that stash. Yeah, that's her slogan. Available on Etsy, Rides Mustache Wax. Check it out, you guys. Those are our sponsors. Back to the Chipotle sweet potato noodle salad. So let's get started on this recipe. The tools that you're gonna need are, need a magic bullet or a blender or a food processor, just any of those. Cutting board, knife, the little juicer thing for the an orange and stuff, tablespoon, and then a measuring cup. The other tool you're gonna need, this one is kind of weird but hard to find, vegetable spiralizer. You need a peeler. Oh, and then you need a stove, flat spatula. You know, mixing bowl for everything. You can do it with one nonstick pan, but I'm gonna use two today just for like efficiency. All right, that's all the tools that you need, ingredients that you need. First, we'll talk about the dressing. Half cup olive oil, two chipotle peppers in adobo sauce, one clove of garlic, teaspoon honey, one orange juiced, one lime juiced, and a pinch of salt. That's the dressing. Now, to make the noodles, you need two sweet potatoes, black pepper, uh, some more olive oil, about a tablespoon of it, cup of spinach, a cup of bean sprouts, half cup of pepitas. They're pumpkin seeds. It's just like the inside part of the pumpkin seeds, but it's like a fancy way of saying pumpkin seeds. Two ears of corn, cut off the cob, katija, <laughs> katija cheese, <laughs> katija. I'm totally saying it wrong. Screw it. All right, let's get this going. First thing we're gonna do is the dressing. It's really easy. Let's bust that out real quick. I'm using my magic bullet today. I didn't mention this in the thing, you need three tablespoons of water. So I guess we could just do that first. You don't have to be exact about this. It's just water. There's that in there. Half cup of olive oil going in there. All right, there's a lot of olive oil, dogs. You guys aren't dogs. There's a lot of olive oil. I need some of it later. That goes in there. Now we got our uh, teaspoon of honey. This is a trick. I'm gonna use some of the olive oil, some of that in there. Now it won't stick. Boom. Look at that, came right out, didn't even stick. All right, then you need a clove of garlic. I just found out that this is a clove, not the whole bulb. I've been putting whole bulbs into a lot of recipes thinking that was a clove. Cause I was like, clover, like it's a clover. It's the whole thing. Usually I just use the minced garlic, but let's talk about how to break this open. Since we're gonna be blending it anyways, you don't have to mince it, but you do have to take the stuff off. The way that I do that is, so you take your knife and you're just gonna use the side of your knife and just press down and it just breaks it open. Boom, just like that. And then you can take all the other pieces off and get the garlicky goodness out of the middle, the meat part of your garlic. And then that just goes in there. Uh, the salt's it's like, that's, we're doing a hearty pinch. Next, one lime juiced. So the last time I did uh, some juiced things, I got a lot of the seeds in there and had to like pick them out. So bought this, it's for oranges, but juice it. <laughs> One half done. That's all juice, no seeds. All right, now one orange juiced. There's gonna be a lot more juice out of this. Yeah, look at that. It's catching all the seeds. No orange seeds in this, corn. All right, cool. Last orange. Oh yeah. This is so satisfying. All right, fresh orange juiced. And that goes in with all the other ones. Now you got your chipotle peppers. You're gonna do two of the peppers because you gotta be careful with these. I've overdone it and then the thing is just like insanely spicy. But you do want the sauce. 
Like try to get as much of the abundo sauce in there as you can. Two full peppers, the whole thing. Find some two big ones, yeah. All right, and then that sauce that they're, in, they're canned with. Oh, not three, no, oh, oh, not three. I swear, there's only two in there. That's what it looks like, all separated. Let's merge these. You want, <laughs> you want to blend these together until it's like super smooth. All right, cool. So this is all blended. It looks pretty. You want to make sure there's no chunks. I mean, do your best. Blend it for a super long time. You can't over blend it. Next thing to do, I realize the sweet potato. Two sweet potatoes. First, you gotta wash them off and skin them. We're gonna peel them. We'll peel the skin off. Yeah. Number two, no skin. All right, and you got your spiralizer, and it's just like sharpening a pencil, except instead of shavings, you get you get noodles. Wheat potato noodles. My noodles aren't very long so far. Here we go. It's okay if they're not long. No judgment here. It's a judgment free zone on noodle length. See, it looks like a pencil. Isn't that cool? I think it's sweet. Once you've spiraled them all, they'll just have a little pencil left and you can just throw it away. You don't need this. You got all your noodles. Spiraled noodles. They look like fries, french fries or something. They kind of match the stripes though, right? That was a lot of work. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take some olive oil and put it in a pan and on medium heat, we're going to cook these for about five minutes. I'm going to pepper them. When you're cooking these, you don't want them to get too soft. So you want to watch it. Black pepper and sizzling. So it's just important not to cook this too long because then it'll get soft. You want it to be just before soft. It still needs to have a little bit of like crunch to it, not so soft. Here's what they should look like. They're not too steamy. Well, no, they're done. You can actually throw them in your bowl. Your noodles in your mixing bowl here. The next thing we can get started on is our roasted corn. We do fresh corn this time. Usually we don't. Two ears of corn. Take the ears off of it. The late off of this corn. Ah! We're gonna cut the kernels off these corns. When you're eating corn, the like corn on the cob thingies, stick it in the end to hold it like that. And then stable, stable. Need you to be more stable. Kidding me. Your corn all cut up into little pieces and we're gonna dry roast it. So what that is, you're gonna take, you need a non-stick pan. Don't do any oil or anything in it, just the corn. And you're just gonna blacken the edges of it. So it is gonna get all kind of stick to the pan, but you just like scrape it as you go. Just move it around as you go. Singe the edges, if you will. Tame that stash, singe that corn. So many plugs. Okay, so you got your dry roast. It smells like popcorn and they pop a little bit but that's okay. This is what it's gonna look like when it's done. They're gonna be kind of yellowish and it's okay. You want them kind of singed on the edges. That's totally what we're going for. All right, now we just have to add everything together. That's it. In your big bowl, your sweet potato noodles. You're gonna add the dry roasted corn. Those in there. And then bean sprouts, a cup of them. Just like a healthy handful of them. I don't want too many of these, but. A half cup of, I suck at these, these pumpkin seed, the meats of the pumpkin seeds. Pepitas, like that, pepitas. And then a cup of spinach. Ah, you know what? I'm gonna rip this spinach up a little bit. Mix these together, and then we're gonna add the, add the dressing to it. This is it, dudes. So I'm gonna just mix these things together. All right, and then your dressing. It's a lot of dressing. Oh yeah. Okay, now mix these up. Oh boy. Oh, this smells amazing. You guys are gonna love it. All right, so then the last thing you gotta do is you just take a tiny bit of this cheese that I struggle to say, coticha. It's like a little bit of a salty cheese. Not too much, sprinkle of it. Kind of like a garnishing cheese. All done. Look at that. Put the white on there. Oh, I gotta taste it. Taste it, and then we spin it. White. Oh yeah. Uh, so much flavor. And there's no meat or anything in there. Crazy, huh? All right, boom. It's done. There it is. Chipotle sweet potato noodle salad. That's done. I, my kitchen is a wreck. You gotta try that. So good, so tasty. So I gotta thank my sponsors. First off, I gotta thank Rides Mustache Wax. Rides, tame that stash, rides that stash. Yeah, it's awesome, it's really awesome. Second sponsor I gotta thank, Bearskin Underwear, bearskin.com. Get yourself a pair of these. Subscribe to my channel, The Cub Kitchen, on YouTube. Watch my other videos. There's lots of other videos, lots of other episodes, so other things to make, fun stuff. I've been Bjorn, The Cub Kitchen. Thanks, pals. Bye.